everybody and welcome back to Time to Go. Bob here. Thanks so much for stopping by the channel again today. I really appreciate it. So if you guys are anything like me, and I know most of you are, one of my favorite things to come home to is a brand new watch in the mail. And what's better than one brand new watch in the mail? That is two brand new watches in the mail. So we're going to be doing a double unboxing today. I have a pretty cool Timex that went under the radar for me till really just the other day and it kind of brings me back to my preteen days and one of the first watches that I ever really remember wearing. The second watch we're looking at is from a company called Le Richard Legrand. They are a micro brand. They make a really nice looking diver at least from what I've seen in pictures. I'm not sure which color. There's a few different color and bezel options that they have. This one was sent out by Richard Legrand so thanks to them for that. So we'll be seeing that together for the first time so let's spin the camera around we'll get into the watches all right so let's kick this off with the timex I le at least i believe this one's the timex There is a little bit of a hint. And there it is. This is a uh, collaboration with Todd Snyder. And again, I can't believe this one went under the radar for me. Back when I was, I think, 10, I got one of these for my birthday. Very similar to this one. Actually, let me get it out of the package while we're talking. And uh, although it didn't have the rubber strap, it had a, a a Velcro strap. And it's the first watch that I remember really wearing for any amount of time. This could be a little bit tricky, I got a feeling. How does this go? Did that do it? Okay, and the fumble begins. Zip ties. Oh, you never want to see zip ties in an unboxing. Let's see here. I'm just going to do this off camera so I do not damage the watch. All right, and here it is. And just a fun watch. Again, I probably got mine when I was either 10 or 11. I believe I got it on a birthday. So that would have been in 88 or 89. And I had it for a few years. And next time I'm back at my parents, I'm gonna poke around and see if I can find it because it may actually still be back there. But a little bit different look than this one, but a really cool watch. I just love this thing. I noticed off camera that I don't see the markings for Todd Snyder anywhere. They're usually fairly discreet about it. So I'll look around a little bit further. We'll get into the functions, the dimensions, all of that in the full review here very soon. I will pop this on for a quick wrist shot though for you guys. And here it is and I am really liking it so far. It's really lightweight just like you would expect from a G-Shock. As far as the strap goes I would say that's very similar to G-Shock quality strap as well. I love how it fits. It's a little bit tall on wrist but that's okay for a sports watch. So really excited to be able to put this one through its paces and come back with a full review for you guys. So let's check out the Richard Legrand. All right, so hopefully the struggle isn't as big as it was with the uh, Timex when it comes to unpackaging this guy. Ooh, it's a bit of a heavy box here. Nicely taped up. Come on, baby. Ooh. Nice. Oh, got rattled around in there a little bit, but man, this is a beautiful watch. This is looking really good. This is another one of those micro brands that is just hitting everything when it comes to the specs, the design. Oh man, really nice bezel action. 
I'll get back to you on price, but these are really affordable. I can't remember exactly what the price is right now. We'll talk about that in the full review. Looks like a nice solid bracelet. Get some of those stickers off. Yeah. I'm liking it. I was actually thinking there's a, they have a blue one with a blue dial, but I really like this black dial. It's a really deep, deep black. And uh, let's take a look at this one now on wrist as well. So I didn't notice through the viewfinder, but we actually have a spare strap here. Looks like some solid hardware. I'm not sure if it's a seatbelt style or not, but we'll talk about that in a later video. So here is the Richard Legrand Odyssey on wrist, and it is just a beautifully proportioned watch. I'm not sure if this is a 40 or 41 millimeter, but it wears really nicely. I can't wait to get it sized up and uh, get some wrist time with this guy. So one last thing that I want to talk about, and while we're talking about it, I'm just going to get in a little bit closer on the watches here. So if you're wondering why my cocktail has all of a sudden joined the party here, there's a reason for that. If you are new to the channel and there's been a lot of new subscribers lately, a few times a year I like to do travel videos. We're going to be going away on the 10th of February to get some beach time in and some uh, activities and adventure. And these watches are going to be the three watches that I take on that trip. I might swap something different for the Seiko, but while I'm down there, I'm going to be getting some cool footage of the Richard Legrand as well as the Timex on some of our adventures. And I'll be using that for the reviews of the watches. I'll probably have reviewed the uh, Seiko at that point in time already. But And again, I just like to do a travel video uh, when I go away that has really not too much to do with watches, if any at all. So just look out for that. Lots going on on the channel. I'll have a few more videos before I go away and I'll let you guys know again that I'll be gone for a week or so. And uh, that's it for today though, guys. Really appreciate it and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.